What would you do if you are forced to live as a man and this sexy straight guy falls in love with you and says he doesn't care if you're not a woman? It's exactly what happens in Finding Camellia. So Leah's father is a nobleman who had an affair with a maid. Then his wife, Anastasia, found out and banished her. The maid became a prostitute to raise a child, Camellia. But when Leah turned 12, she was kidnapped by Anastasia and was forced to live as Camellias, as a son. Little Leah was like, I'll do anything if you can forgive my mommy. But beautiful Leah has the attention of everyone, including the son of the Duke, Claude. At first, Claude thinks Leah is just an interesting boy. So, what does he do? <laughs> but his coldness makes Leah think that he hates her. Some years later, Claude, now a young adult, can't stop thinking about Leah. So, what does he do? <laughs> but it's like, I just want him because he might be useful to me. And Leah is like, what the heck is up with this guy? He is sexy though. <laughs> But Claude has to face the truth when he finds himself getting super jealous because of a prince called Ian, who actually knows Leah's secret. So, what does Claude do? <laughs> and then he beats himself up for feeling this way for a man because he's just really confused. Will Leah reveal her true identity to Claude when he's decided that he loves her as a man? See for yourself in Finding Camellia, only on Manta. Oh hey, you're here again. Okay, uh, let me tell you more about Ian. So he knows Camellius is Camellia, and he's crazy in love with her. But for Leah, he's kind of like a bothersome puppy. But he is definitely sexy too. Will Leah open up to Ian? See for yourself in Finding Camellia, only on Manta.